All right, just a little fun exercise since I've seen it so many times on the, doing condition inspection on the bell crank or on the uh, pivoting hinges on the flap rods on Zenit aircraft. <clears throat> the instructions are somewhat clear in the manual, but there are no explanation as of what to do with the parts. <clears throat> this is a, a setup that's oversized and just for demonstration. We've got, in its simplest form, a hole in the arm that comes down from the wing. <clears throat> of course, these are big pieces. This is just to duplicate or show it with a bolt through it. And then there is a spacer and a nut. So this is a simplified version where we've taken away uh, any complexity. When that's tight, this creates now a pivot point that's rigid, uh, from which the uh, flapper on can, can hinge from. So this is completely rigid. There's no play. The flapper on can now pivot around this bushing and there's no play this way. Uh, sometimes when you put the flapper on here, the question has been that the, this squeezes on it and it locks up. As soon as you tighten this, it locks up. So how do we solve that? Well. This is the simplest form. The actual installation has a few more washers and things that kind of makes it confusing in a sense. Because um, there's a, for good measure, a washer on this side because the bolt goes up against aluminum normally. Uh, and AN3 washers. Then there is an AN, well, there's another AN3 washer which simulated with this one that goes on here just barely fits the bolt. And then there's a sleeve that goes on top of that out of steel. Now notice it butts up against the steel washer and that's its purpose. So that the steel with fairly skinny wall thickness doesn't dig into here when we tighten it. Is it necessary? I don't know, the plans show it. Put that there. Then there's a little steel collar like this, the, the bushing that we pivot around. Then the same on the other side, fairly thin edge on here. So we put a steel washer against it and then we tighten that down. Now I'm still leaving out a couple of parts just for clarity and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So we're back to the same thing. We have a very rigid pivot point that our flapper on can pivot around and we have uh, steel at each end for sideways bearing load, which in real life, there's no sideways bearing load here. So is it necessary? Don't know, but they're there. Now, to further make it kind of complicated or confuse people that are looking at these little parts and how they go together, there's a bearing here and here. And so let's put those on. So what you've got, when I say bearing, they're just, it's just steel. This bearing that it pivots around is steel. These end plates are steel. In addition to that, we're gonna put some more bearings, which will be an AN4 washer, which would be, or it might be an AN5, but in any case, it's big enough to go on the outside of this uh, bushing, like so. And then we put it back together and show it again. So now what we have, <clears throat> we have all kinds of sideways thrust loading capability that we don't really need, but it's there. Meaning that we now have this and this. Now notice that the bushing is still rigid up against the steel end plates and the, this shortens the distance between here and here. So we now only have so much room to work with for our pivot point to go around there. Now, once we put paint on our pivot point, meaning the arm coming down from the wing, it makes this fatter. And we're gonna get to that, what happens with that. Now, this is kind of a bearing surface because it can slide against that. It can also slide against the, the pivot. This can slide against that. 
and it can also slide against the pivot arm from the wing. So we have lots of sideways, quote unquote, bearing for a side thrust. Now there is no side thrust, so we're still gonna focus just on this, that this has to be rigid this way. Now, here's what happens. Getting into like a lot of detail here, but so be it. Uh, this video can stay up forever and hopefully it'll help somebody. What happens now is we take the nut back off, take uh, this off, and we're gonna put our, our um, pivot point in here, which is gonna be simulated. This is now the width of the uh, bell crank that comes down from the wing with paint on each side. This is the simulated one. And we put our thrust washer at the end and we put our end washer and we tighten it all down. So this is now what you end up with uh, in a finished airplane, a whole painted assembly, all the hardware that's supposed to be there. Um, the length of the bushing underneath here is what came in the kit. Well, what happens is you just tighten down on it and you cannot rotate the flapper on. So now what? You put it all together the way it's supposed to be and it won't rotate. Whoa, wow. Maybe it's not supposed to be that tight. Oh, nice. It, it works. It works. But you just did this to the whole thing. So really it didn't work. Now, since, we, since I've been talking about this side thrust of the, the, air, the flapper on somehow moving out or moving in, which it won't, especially with three or four attach points, it's, gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. But um, let's take one of these thrust washers out and put it back together. Now the thrust washer is about the thickness, actually it's a lot more, but let's just say that that compensates for the paint. Then we tighten this back up, and we still have this nice and rigid, and this can spin. So, moral of the story, and all you really need to do to maintain the way it was designed, is to take one of these thrust washers and get an L washer, a thin washer. You put that in here instead of a thicker washer, and that, sub, that takes care of the fact that there's paint on this, and this can rotate freely. Now, if there is a little bit of clearance back and forth or in and out as far as on the wing, who cares? It doesn't make any difference as long as the flapper on's not rubbing against your fuselage. Uh, not all of these arms are exactly in the proper position anyhow, so you're gonna get one that's too far out, one that's a tiny bit too far in. So it, the flapper on, when you're all done, is not gonna move anyhow, but for good measure, and for someone not to come over to your plane and do this and say that there's something wrong, just put an L washer or a thin washer in there, and that compensates for your paint. Or you can remove the paint from here out, but obviously you'd like to have your plane painted, uh, hence uh, just, um, or if you vinyl wrap it, just stop the vinyl right there, and then try it with no vinyl. If it still binds, uh, remove the washer, put an L washer. And that concludes the anal explanation of the hinge pivot point on a flapper on of a Zenit aircraft.